All right, Keegan Bradley, one over 71. Keegan, just talk about that week. I know it was phenomenal for you. Yeah, it was uh, There's a part of me that's so happy that it's over. I, I'm tapped out. I, uh, what a week. I had just the best time, and I'm so thankful for the fans of New England and Boston. And uh, I'm proud of the way I played. I wish I had putted a little better today, but it's the way it goes. How about the ovation on 18 green? Oh, man, it just I'll remember that the rest of my life. It was really special, and I'm happy that my family was here to see that, and it was just amazing. Apparently. Now, you probably are a little bit biased compared to most players out here, but if you had to make the pitch for the country club to host another one of these things in the near future, um, what would that pitch be? Well, I think it's one of the best golf courses in the world, and alongside probably the best sports fans in the world Com combine those two and you get this out here uh the country club is spectacular i absolutely loved it it's my favorite u.s open venue i've ever played and anytime you get to play a tournament in boston it's just it gets it's electric and they uh the fans are the best over here to your right thank you Keegan, right here thank yeah. you uh it's been kind of a weird year and it's been kind of a weird year in golf, but as they say on TV, this is really what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, this is a U.S. Open in Boston. What, a, what an unbelievable setting this has been. And, you know, to me, when I think of the U.S. Open, I think of this here. I, I think in the past, the USGA has gone a weird route with how we've played these U.S. Opens. Uh -huh. and I think with the leadership of Jason Gore, they, a lot of this, the, the, U, the U.S. Open and the USGA seems to be going in a much better direction. Uh, is there? Could you find an extra gear this week because you're home? I mean, I honestly, I I think I I think I, I could. I got off to bad starts the last three days in a row, like horrible, horrible starts, and and sort of battled back. And I told my caddy on I think it was the twelfth hole, I gotta really try to enjoy this coming in. Something yeah. I never really take the second to do uh -huh. because they may never get this opportunity ever again. So I did that, and uh, I'm proud of the week. And I wish today was a little better, but I'm proud of the way I played. Thank you. Over to your left. Keegan, uh, your dad was on uh, practice rounds walking with you. Uh, you got family here, friends, high school uh, uh, teammates. But the shoes. You had your family on your shoes and your late grandmother. Talk about what, playing with her in your, on your mind this week, and she was kind of the matriarch of your family. Yeah, she she was a very powerful force in our family forever, and she recently passed away. She wouldn't miss a round of golf I played or my aunt Pat played, and you know I very proud to be your grandson. And um, I had her with me this week. I kept looking down, and I, I uh, that made me very proud. All right, thanks, Thank Keegan. You. Are you there we go. TV? One more question for Keegan here yeah. with a special guest. All right, Keegan, first off, tell us who you have with you and uh, what this week was like to share it with family and friends. What's your name? Logan. This is Logan. Um, you know, when my family's here, everything, I always play well. You know, it's, it's, it's a different routine for me. I, you know, I go home and I'm a dad, but I think that helps me take my mind off of playing golf and it's just, it's just great. I get to hang out with these guys tonight, and um, he doesn't know it or care. He doesn't even know what's going on out here. He thinks we're on vacation. So uh, it's, uh, it's pretty special. And you got vacation in here this summer, right? You're spending three months up here? Yeah, we're, we're spending the whole summer up here. So we're going to spend the summer up here, right? Yeah, so we're looking forward to that. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>